Everything's going really super good in the greenhouse. This is just an update on the growth, the pathways, everything's go. Wait, what's going on down here? Well, we're beginning the insulation of the back wall. So we're doing two by fours and one set of foam going all the way down. My helpers are getting ready for that. Cody's cutting four inches off the top. When we're done, we will go crisscross and the other foam will be going that way to cover the gaps. And two by fours going over like that so that then our metal can go on the outside and protect the foam. are one day removed from putting the glass on the front and now we have created our first uh, layer of insulation on the back so that is a inch and a half foam r seven and a half which we will be coming along and laterally putting a second layer so it should give us an r15 on the back wall and then that will be covered in metal. I think I already made a video saying the exact same thing, but you know what? We're done. So 95 degrees here in Manti. I'm gonna repeat myself. It's not dementia, it is heat stroke. What do you think about that, Keisha? Uh -huh. Is that splash? Birds and the bees and the cows, huh? are insulating the second layer of foam on this greenhouse on the north side. So we'll show you what that means. Everything else is up and down. So we're coming across and we basically will have our two by four that will go across the bottom and then two rungs on top. If I should push that over really good. Butt this up as quick as we can or as good as we can and we're giving it a, a thing of duct tape to hold it in place as well as just get as much R as we can, a much shear factor, whatever. Um, so with both of these on, that's an R15 on the north side, plus we will fill up the dirt two feet, two feet down, that'll help a little bit. But the main thing is this foam insulation is meant to lock in all the heat uh, that will be retained in the cement wall on the other side, especially in that winter time. What are you doing, Keisha? People wonder how we have such an amazing tropical jungle. Well, that would be Keisha. I don't know if that plant has enough water in it though yet. gets a lot of peat moss.
We just got done putting plastic on the back wall over the two layers of foam. I'm gonna backfill the north wall. And then all of the dirt work is pretty much done besides just raking and tilling in peat moss and some perlite. Um, then we're on to metal roof and the two side walls. All right, Mr. Casey, I know that looks like Casey doing all the work, but it's actually me. Uh, it's a deep fake. He uh, hacked into my phone and put his face on my body. Um, anyway, we just got done with the whole back wall. All the metal is on. And we've got one purlin or cross support. So we're gonna put on the other three and then start on the roof. There's your update. It has been a long, long day. We've been putting the purlins on and we've got all four of them done. We also did the white um, metal on the north side. So with that being said, it was a long day, but a good day. John, Mr. Chungus. It is a beautiful day in Manti. Here is an update on the greenhouse. We have the vents on. And if you thought it looked like a spaceship before, oh yeah, there's Keisha showing it off. We are pretty much all framed in. All the glass is complete. We just barely completed the two sides. 
framing them in with two windows and a door on each side. And we also have foam insulated. And put plastic for a vapor barrier. So we got to put metal over here, but the rear metal roof and metal back with the vent completed. 103 feet long, it's a lot of metal. You want to go inside, you put a window on this door. We just need to put a ridge cap on and metal on the two sides and we'll be able to call our foam insulator from Cedar City. And he's gonna spray foam over our foam on the side walls, spray foam the whole underbelly of the metal roof, as well as spray foam the little back stem wall, spray foam over that. And when that happens, we'll be all closed in. So besides those projects, we still need to put a two by four all the way across the top, as well as the metal grating and the little tiny uh, insulated curtain that goes over the top. This is so in the summertime, we can roll that up and let all that fresh air in and the vents out the top. The vent system worked out fantastic. You just pull this chain and you can lift that little bad boy right up. It's actually spring loaded. Close, open. And then the two round vents, same thing. Right now they're open, but going close, you pull them shut. And then just crank it over there and lock it in place. Then we will do a finished grating, cut out the air drops, put the grates over them, and we'll be ready to roll. There's your update. It's coming along. It's been absolutely brutal. Well, we've got to move the cow so we can finish the greenhouse. Becca promised me she wouldn't step on the trim. Most people have dogs. We have cow. And now, the greenhouse.